what up welcome back to the channel i'm Modi J, and we are locked in this is the day four recap of our six day super sale recap breakdown in episode four is titled andre now the last thing we seen about andre was him showing his boy that he has the superpower of strength where he's picking up cars and he's knocking things down and we're going to go through the struggles that andre is going through with dealing with his everyday situations and how he uses his strength to get him through it. Now, before we jump into this and we break this down, if you like superhero shows, if you like seeing the culture take things into their own hand and make something out of nothing, then Supercell is your series and you need to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. We need about a hundred and something and we on our way there. So use your superpower, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into it. This is episode four, Andre Supercell. Sabrina and Charlene are last seen running off from the club. Now they're trying to figure out what the hell happened. That guy's unalive. How did Charlene get into that situation? And most importantly, Sabrina, what are you doing with those powers? And uh, are you sure you know how to use them? While they're driving in the taxi, they tell the driver to turn the music up because they don't want him to hear that they're talking about a body that is dead. Now, Sabrina is saying she's going to turn herself into the police and tell them that Charlene didn't have anything to do with it. But we know Charlene's going to hold it down. She's like, we're not going to the cops. You can't go tell the police this. We know that Andre doesn't have a job. So we see him getting prepared to do an interview. Now, AJ has to get ready for school. He got his cell phone. He's helping his dad tie his tie. And Andre needs to get some money because all the money he has from that ATM is going to start running low at some point, And he doesn't want to be a career criminal. So as AJ leaves, there's a knock on the door. And he's thinking, who the hell is this knocking on my door this early in the morning? He thinks it's Andre's son, AJ, coming back. Now, it wasn't AJ that came back. It was the debt collectors. Now, I've never seen this, but they show up to the house and they're telling them, listen, you need to pay us this debt and you need to pay it right now. So Andre's like, look, man, I'll come down there and I'll pay you guys. Just give me some time. But they're like, nah, we're going to start collecting things and all of this. Whatever you owe, this is just going to have to make up for it. Now, Andre does have the money, but it's in the back room and he doesn't want to get that money. But AJ shows back up because he left his coat and he volunteers to give his iPhone to the debt collectors. Now, Andre bought that phone for his son and he's like, nah. So he goes in the back and he grabs some money and he pays them all. But Andre, he's in a tough situation right here. Knowing that he has a criminal record, it's hard to get a job. Sabrina eventually goes down to the police station. She wrote a note to her sister saying, I'm turning myself in. I'm going to tell him you didn't have anything to do with this. Now, when she gets down to the police station, she goes to talk to the front desk and she says, I have information about a murder. So the lady at the front desk is like, a murder? She said, yes, at this nightclub. The police officer talks to a counterpart and they're talking about a murder. We went down there, but it wasn't a murder. It was just like a domestic dispute or something. So Sabrina hears this and she leaves, realizing the police don't have any information. So she's thinking, I need to head back to the club and see what the hell was going on or if anyone found the body. Dion is a social worker, so she goes to talk to this woman named Miss Johnson at her job. Now, she's trying to ask questions about her daughter, Jasmine, that's missing. Now, there's been a lot of people coming up missing throughout the city, and she's trying to get any kind of information. But Miss Johnson is saying, you guys don't have any power to find out where my daughter went. So it's coming off that Miss Johnson knows something that no one else knows about. And we see that Dion is real curious on what does she mean we don't have the power for it. But if your child is missing and you know something that the police won't listen or they won't be able to help out, you can see how Miss Johnson is acting. But Dion is curious and she's not going to let up until she can get some kind of information. Mike meets back up with Rod. Now, they're at this little restaurant that we seen Rod and Spud eating at before. And Mike is saying, listen, I told you the other night, we need to stick together. We need to make this happen because whoever those hooded guys were coming to get us, they're going to keep going. They want you in your powers. Now, Spud is saying you guys need to come together like the Avengers. But Rod, he's thinking of it. I got to make this money. I don't necessarily want to do anything with fighting these guys or figuring out who they are. I just want to make some money and continue to live my life. But Mike knows, listen, I went to the future July 9th. I know what's happening. Please help. But Rod says no. Sabrina ended up going back to the hotel after she left the police station. But when she arrives there, all she sees is a brick wall that's messed up, 
a little bit of blood, but no body. So she goes back home and wakes Shaw up like, um, real quick, that person, whoever that was, they're not there. I went to the, the sea and they're not there. Now, Shaw is saying, you told me there wasn't a post. She's saying, I know, but he's gone. And remember, we seen his eyes light up and he jumped into the air. So they're just as confused as we were watching episode one, trying to figure out who has superpowers, who's good, who's bad. But Sabrina, she's looking at this like, man, these powers that I thought were good, it only looks like bad is coming from it. It was Andre's big day for this interview. His son helped him out, but the debt collectors came and now he shows up to the interview. When he gets here, he just goes ahead and tells him the truth. Listen, when you do a background check on me, I haven't had that many jobs because I went to jail. I was arrested for drugs, intent to sell, but the drugs weren't mine. I picked up an old friend. He left drugs in my vehicle and they put it on me and I just couldn't snitch because of where I'm from. Now, the hiring manager is looking at him. He's like, ah, I don't know, because if someone was to do something here, you have a history of not telling on them. So how can we trust you? Now, Andre understands this. And he's very, very frustrated. So he gets up. and He leaves the interview. After the interview, Andre meets up with his boy, John, at Club Onyx. Now, he's sitting here and he's like, man, I can't go back to jail. I got to figure out a way to get me some money. I got to get a job. What did you bring me out here for? I just got AJ back in my life. Well, John, he says, I smoke a little bit of weed and um, just want to tell you that there is at the trap house a safe with a lot of money. And since you have that strength, maybe you could go down there and um, let's say rob them and get some money out the safe. Now, it'll just be one time. And Andre, he he hears it is tempting, but he doesn't know if he's bulletproof or not. and He doesn't want to find out. It turns out that Michael shows up to talk to his boy, Gabriel, and he's telling them, future me told me I had to find these other four people. Now, I got Rod, but I don't know who the other ones are. Then you hear Gabriel start to joke around. Well, you work at the Postal Service. Why don't you just go in your database and just look at people's names? Now, you're going to have to go knock on a lot of doors, but it's a start. So Michael hears this. and He's like, you know what? I could do that because who we got? We got Rod, but we need to find Andre. We need to find Taser. Well, we know who Taser is and where he's at, the Tower Boys. But we need Sabrina. Maybe, maybe this will work. Maybe this plan might just work out. Taser and Crazy, they finally beat up after the shooting. Now, what Crazy is saying is what happened, it happened. But I want to bring you back in, Taser. I want you to be my little brother again. But Taser, he sees through all of this and he's like, listen, you're not no brother to me. The Tower Boys, those are my brothers. What you used to do was use me. You wanted me to do all your dirty work. You wanted me to go sell the drugs so you could reap all the benefits. But no, nah, we ain't doing none of this. So Taser looks him in the eye and says, we not, we not going through this again. Not at all. And you hear Crazy tell him, next time I see you, I'm going to kill you. Taser's looking at him like, what? That's where we're at? Well, they shot Tiny and there's nothing else to do after this. Taser already said he was going to make crazy pay. Now, the guy brags is the one that Andre's been telling to stay away from his son, AJ. Now, AJ's walking home because we don't know where Andre is at this point. Andre is supposed to be getting ready to go do a robbery and make some money. So AJ goes over and talks to Braggs like, hey, can I get that ride home? And he's like, yeah. He also looks at AJ and asks him, do you want to make some money? Basically saying, hey. I got some work for you to move if you want to ride. Well, Andre and his boy actually go to the trap house. He wants to show them, look, when we go in here, there's a lot of drugs, but there's even more money. There's a safe down here. And with your strength, we can get in and out, get this money, and you'll be good to go. And no one will even know who you are because no one's seen him around before. Obviously, they're going to go in there masked up because he came in here with a suit on. Now, Mike took John's idea and he ran with it. He's going through the packages. First person he's looking for is Sabrina. Sabrina. Any package for a Sabrina, he's knocking on the door. Hey, oh, nope, you're not Sabrina. Uh, hey, nope, you're not Sabrina. But this is a start. At this point, he only knows two people. He needs to find the other two. Well, it looks like money is starting to come up short for our boy Crazy. Now, they bring in Braggs, the one that's been on the block, and they're saying, hey, why is your money coming up short? You ain't moving product like you're supposed to. Are you stealing? 
And he's like, no, there's some new guy on the block that's selling weed. And he's saying if he can't get the weed to them in five minutes or less, he gives it to them for free. He's stealing all the customers. That's because Rye can serve to everybody. But also we see that Bragg, he ain't even moving no work like that. He's just sitting around hanging out. So he's like, all right, y'all need to go find who's moving this dope. And y'all need to bring them here and handle that business. Well, it turns out they call Rod's phone. Now, Rod is asleep. Remember, Rod's been moving and moving and moving. And as you use your powers, the more you use them, the tired you get. So his boy Spud answers the phone. He's like, what's up? You need some work? We can get there in under five minutes. So Spud, he takes the keys, he takes the work, and he goes to make a delivery while Rod is asleep. Now, we're starting to find more about this Miss Johnson, the girl Jasmine that went missing. Dion's co-worker told her that, hey, Jasmine calls every now and then, but they haven't been getting those calls. So now she's online Googling, looking up people that are missing. There are people online posting about maybe someone having some powers or something, but there's no real leads. Now, down in this building where they're doing these experiments, we see Jasmine playing the piano. And they actually stick her with a needle to calm her down. We don't know what they're about to do with her, but they got her locked up and they got several other people. And this is also where Taser's mother was. Mike's been running around the city and he finally meets up with Sabrina. Well, it turns out Sabrina and Shar are the ones he delivered packages to. And Shar was trying to talk to Mike, but Mike left. Now, we know that Char seen the letter from Sabrina saying she was going to go report this to the police, the murder from last night. So they're having a little argument. But Mike is saying, listen, I really need to talk to you, Sabrina. You have powers. I know about the future and we need to get together and find the last two people and make this work. She's like, I don't know. I don't want anything to do with these powers. If you're saying that someone's going to come and kill us. Mike is like, trust me, I don't either. But I need your help because he knows that Dion has an expiration date. Andre's at the house getting prepared to go do this little mission where he goes to the trap house and gets the money from this safe. Also, we hear that Taser and them heard that crazy's down there and they about to show up too. Now, everyone's in preparation to go down here and try to make something happen because everyone wants something. Andre wants money. Taser wants crazy. This is where things start to take a change at the trap house. Mike had to go see his mother because she had an emergency. Sabrina and Char show up to the trap house because they're looking for crazy. Andre shows up at the trap house because he's looking to rob them. And Rod shows up to the trap house because they didn't took Spud because Spud was the one that was supposed to be moving the dope. Now, when they get here, Taser and his crew, they get to shooting the place up because they're trying to take out crazy. So now we got a shootout going on. We see Sabrina and Char, they make it to the back room. They're ducking and they're trying to hide. Andre didn't open up a door. He picks up a safe. And now everyone is in the same room looking at each other. Andre with the strength, Rye with the speed, Taser with the gun and invisibility. And then we got our girl Sabrina that can move things with her mind. All right, there you go. The recap of episode four, Supercell, Andre. Let me know what you think about Andre. Was this a good decision to come in here to try to steal this money? Even though he has a record, he's trying to take care of his son. So it's not like he's just out here doing this recklessly. And you see in the UK, if you owe a debt, they show up straight to the house and take back what they want. Let me know what you think. I'm Old IJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. This is day four. We got two episodes left. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.